going on YouTube? This is your man Tagatu. And on our one year anniversary of Heightened Experience, that's right, Heightened Experience is one year old today on November 19th. Um, I would like to thank everybody uh, for joining us, for staying with us, and uh, all I can do is promise you much more to come. Um, but tonight, we're going to do a, a special interview with Hex P. Pi. Um, he's been with us for quite some time, originally with a, uh, another team previously uh, that was sponsored by us, and he came on with us full stream a couple months ago, and he went with us to MLG Orlando. So let's jump right into it. Hex P. Pie, how you doing, man? I am doing great, except I haven't had enough Dr. Pepper today. You haven't had enough Dr. Pepper. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, Pie is a... Uh, shortly addicted to uh, the Dr. Pepper and the 23 wonderful flavors that are all combined up in that drink. Um, so, let's, let's just jump right into the Dr. Pepper. How did, is Dr. Pepper an obsession or an addiction, and how did that start? Uh, it started when I got into MLG. I was a big straight ripping fan, and, you know, T-squared sponsored by Dr. Pepper. So, I sort of just Jumped on the bandwagon there. I went and tried Dr. Pepper. And it made me play a lot better. So if it made me play better, I started to want to play better all the time. So I started drinking it more and more. And then I got up to six liters a day. Six and liters a day? That's ridiculous. You know that, right? Yeah, and it's really expensive. So I've dropped it down to two to three liters. That's which, it. yeah, only two no, to three. No, that's, not, that's, that's not much. No. Nah. <laughs> So you went to uh, MLG Orlando. Um, for everybody that you saw there, did you meet anybody that you were looking forward to uh, seeing? Uh, I met so many people, and I was glad I met all of them, uh, namely you, Street, uh, Uber, uh, the other two teammates that were teaming with us in Orlando. Um, I got to meet a lot of the pros, and I got to give them hugs, uh, like Moho, after our match. I got to hug Rambo. Uh, I, of course, hugged the Dr. Pepper girls, you know. Had to do that. Well, I'm, I'm glad there were some females in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what's with the hugging? Everybody's um, hugging. What's with pie and hugging? I don't really know. I just feel that you know, a lot of people don't get to see the affection that, you know, a human requires. And I've had a lot of sadness in my life, so I want to make other people happy. And, you know, hugging's just something happy and very affectionate, and I don't have to be doing anything inappropriate with them. All right, well, as long as you don't sit there for a long period of time hugging me, uh, I'm all cool with it. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, you went to MOG Orlando. It was your first actual event. Um, you got to meet all these people. You're, you know, needless to say, kind of blown away being your first event. How was the experience being at Orlando? Uh, it was just awesome. Um, an MLG event is something I've dreamed of since 2008, uh, which is when I first saw MLG. Uh, I wanted to go there for Halo. I tried to make it in Halo. I bought lessons. Um, I was just an MLG bad kid in that game. I really tried to make it to an event, but I just was not good enough. Uh, when Black Ops hit the circuit, I knew that Call of Duty was a better shot for me, so I jumped on board with that and made it with heightened experience and was able to get there. Alright, and what do you see as far as uh, next year? Do you see uh, Black Ops coming back into the picture, or do you see MW3 trying to uh, take the stage? Um, I really hope it's Black Ops. I know a lot of the pros want MW3. I personally never liked the Modern Warfare series. I never played COD 4 too much. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 I played and it was okay but I felt like the connection issues were just too much and I just think Black Ops plays a lot more, a lot better and it's more suited to my play style. Okay. Well, now that MW3 is out and you've had a chance to play it for a little bit, um, Obviously, you, you don't have too much appreciation for it, but what are some of your thoughts about the maps, um, the game types, and the overall feel of the game? Um, 
Well, do you want me to go over each map individually, yeah, or...? Just a generalization. Okay. Um, I like a lot of the maps. As much as I complain about them, uh, they're actually pretty good. Uh, the spawns could use a little bit of work, but once you play competitive, you learn to manipulate them to your advantage. Uh, I believe a few of the maps could go MLG, but most of them are just too unbalanced or too big. Uh, for game types, I see Search and Destroy coming back for sure. Uh, a lot of the maps are very uh, made for Search and Destroy. Dome, I believe, is the only map that I would not want Search on but I would want other game types. Uh, I scrimmed a lot of Dome Demolition, and that was a lot of fun, but offense seems a little too overpowered. Uh, so I would put Dome on CTF, almost every map search, and there's a few maps such as, I uh, don't really remember, it starts with an R and it has a whole bunch of gates. That map is good for CTF. Um, All right. Well, how about some of your weapons? What, what, are, what kind of weapons are you using? Well... It's a well-known fact that the MP5 is my baby. It has been for a long time. Do you cradle at night and uh, wrap it in clothing? And... Uh, no, that's my Dr. Pepper. Okay, Dr. But, Pepper. Yeah. Um, but MP5, I really wanted to use in this game. I was so happy that it made it into Modern Warfare 3. A lot of people didn't use it in Black Ops, but I was one of the few that did. Uh, and so I tried it in this game. And it sucks. Just straight up sucks. I tried every attachment, and I have found one that I've been using recently, and it is very fun to use. I've been using MP5 Thermal Sight. Thermal uh, Scope on an MP5. Yes, I have been doing scrims with it, I've done a couple GBs with it, and it is actually very good. The what, hip fire. What is it that, that really does it for you? Well, Hardly anyone will be using Assassin in a GB because there's no killstreaks on. Or at least when I play, there isn't. Um, and now that they made it so you can ban personal radar, there's no real reason to put on uh, Assassin. So everyone glows white hot. So I can just scan the area from afar. I can give the callouts to my teammates. If they're in medium range, uh, the thermal scope gives me extra range power. So I do get that kill slightly easier than if I was using, say, extended mags. We might have to keep this circuit to ourselves and uh, edit this out of the uh, interview. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, other than Call of Duty, you know, you, we've known that you play um, Halo, and then you moved over to Call of Duty. What other games do you play other than, than the Call of Duty series and on, on Xbox or PC? Um. Well, I've been trying League of Legends and Heroes of New Earth. I am really bad at both of them. One of my teammates, XP Motive, uh, has been trying to teach me, and... Well, you still I, haven't came to my house, you know? I, got, I can teach you a few things, get you in with the League of Legends team. I mean, they're giving me some private lessons, so we need to get you over there with them. Okay, for sure. Alright. Um, I play a lot of Gears. Uh, not good at it, but it, it's fun. Uh, I like the dancing games. Like Dance Dance Revolution. I got Connect, so I play Dance Central. Um, that's pretty much it for the main games. Whenever a new Naruto game comes out, I got that, though. So a little bit of variety in there, not to keep it so uh, monotone with Call of Duty. Yeah. Um, now, on a personal level, um, you had a, a lot of tough experiences this year. Um, can you break some of those down and then... Um, Maybe give any advice on uh, on how to overcome um, strong obstacles and come out a stronger person like you did. Um. Well, probably the biggest thing that has happened in my life, you know, not just this year but ever, uh, was my mom passing away. Um. He passed away a little over six months ago, and you know she was my favorite person in the world. Uh, we shared pretty much everything together. It was just me, her, and my little brother living in the same house down in Florida. And, you know, I saw her and talked with her you know, a good amount. I wasn't like the typical teenager who just shut myself in my room or went and hung out with friends. I would actually sit down and, you know, talk with my mom for at least 30 minutes a day. Uh, at that time, she was helping me out with leading my team 
Relentless Theory, which did eventually get sponsored by Heightened Experience. Right. Um, when she passed away, it was really tough on me, and I'm still probably in some state of shock, but it has been getting easier as time's gone by. Uh, yeah. I know you got you took a quite a uh, break from everything, you know, just to get your wits about you. Um, but the one thing I did notice when you came back and uh, back into the sway of things, you seem to be a, a much stronger person, um, not only in your confidence but just your overall uh, interaction with everybody. Um, was there any special uh, things that you know you used to help you, you know, get yourself back on your feet? Well. A lot of the, a lot of my teammates, uh, past and current, have really helped me through this. I was lucky enough to be able to go to you and get back into the Call of Duty scene. Uh, I did take a break and played a little bit of Halo Reach, you know, played a little bit of GB on that, uh, which is why my gameplay got so much more confident because I thought I had a shield when I really didn't. Um, and really, it's just all about your friends and family. The people that support you the most are probably the most important people in your life. Uh, if they'll do anything for you, then accept it. I mean, if you would do anything for them, then they should be able to do anything for you. And, fuck, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> it's, all <good. laughs> it's, it's all good. Um, do you have any advice for anybody that's... Uh lower on the totem pole as far as the competitive scene goes, not really uh, knowing what's going on and, and how to basically break into the scene um, like you did on, on the beginning level. Really, you just need to find someone that is on a higher level than you. You need to just sort of climb the ranks. It all starts in just pub matches. Then you move on and you start doing GBs. Then you move on to MLG variant on GB. And then eventually you start meeting some really high-level people. You might get to play with a couple pros or people that go to events. Uh, once you sort of build a relationship with those sort of people, you'll start picking up things that you didn't really think about or consider in the past. Then eventually, you know, some opportunity might present itself. You can try to go looking for opportunities, but the best ones usually come to you. So hard work and dedication usually pay off. Most certainly. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up in a little bit, but uh, first and foremost, we're going to put you through a lightning round. All right. Got okay. a couple questions for you. First uh, answer that pops in your head. All right. PS3 or 360? 360. 360. Looks or personality? Uh, seven. You what? I'm sorry. You said first thing that comes into my head. I was trying to think, but that number. <laughs> Looks or personality, Pi? You got to pick one. Personality. <laughs> On Thanksgiving, ham or turkey? Ham. Ham. Watermelon or grapefruit? Watermelon. I hate grapefruit. And last but not least, Selena Gomez or Vanessa Hutchins? Uh, I want both of them. Um... But I would I'll probably. Give you that answer because I'm <laughs> going to take that away from the man. Okay. All right, Pi. We're going to get out of here, but it's been great talking with you. Um, we look forward to seeing you on the uh, circuit next year when we uh, hit up uh, MLG. Uh, do you got any last words for anybody? Uh, if anyone makes it out to an MLG event and you see me, uh, come up and introduce yourself and give, give me a hug. Give him a hug. <laughs> he likes the hugs. Just not. Yes, I do. All right. Well, I'll take a long one too. It's up to you. <laughs> Alright, this is the guy too, and this XP Pi. Um, I'm out of here. Next time, we're going to be interviewing some uh, other well known XP members, and we might be throwing in a pro or two later on. Um, look for some more videos that we got coming out. Um, we've got League of Legends section coming up, uh, StarCraft 2 sections coming up on the website. And again, this is XP Degatu, and I'm out. Love you. Bye. Yeah, boy.